Welcome back. You're still watching in the game. I am Onyinyechi Obaro. Now let's join up with um, Remo Stairs, media officer. Uh, they will be taking on Rangers today away from home, not the familiar ground they know, Ikene, uh, but they will have to go to Namdi Azikiwe um, Stadium there to take on Enugu Rangers. Home advantage for Enugu Rangers. And now we have to fill the pause of camp updates from Remo Stairs. We've got the media officer, Oladi Meji. Shode joining us. Thank you so much, Oladi Meji, for joining me on the show today. Thank you so much. Good afternoon. Um, it's a pleasure to be on your show today. It's a pleasure to have you. But it's um, set to be a battle of the titans, I would call it, as some um, Rangers will take on your side in a highly anticipated match. You are unbeaten in your last um, four Nigeria Premier Football League matches against Rangers. So, what awaits us in that epi epic drama today? And remember, you know that the two coaches. They have some dramatic actions, some history way back between both of them. What awaits us ahead of this fixture? Yeah, um, definitely it's going to be a difficult tournament. It's a difficult game for both sides today. And don't forget the fact that um, at the commencement of the season, the first time we played in the MPFL, MPFL this season was against the Rangers. Um, they scored first, and then we fought our way back into that game, and we ended up winning that game. She goes to one. And um, definitely for us, um, I think we've gotten enough rest because in our last game, we are supposed to play against uh, Rivers United last week and um, over the weekend. But unfortunately, we couldn't because um, Rivers United uh, were involved in, a, in, a, in a, a continental game, yeah, back in the uh, on the continent. So for us, um, it's just an opportunity for us to see if you can keep grinding out points. It's not going to be an easy game, like I told you earlier. Um, the last three game we played was against Abia Warriors and it ended 0-0. For you wanting to win the MPFL, every game is difficult. And the players already have at the back of their minds that they must always play each game mm -hmm. as if it is a final of every game, of every competition. Mm -hmm. And if you have that as a final of every competition, you know definitely every game you play him, you must always try to see if you can get the maximum points. But for us, um, we'll try our best possible to ensure that um, we get at least a point on the road if we don't end up picking the, three, the maximum point. But for us, we are going to push to get the maximum point. Although it's going to be very, very difficult. We are playing away from home. And Enugu Rangers are back at the cathedral. I think it's their fortress. Mm. They have not lost any game there in part time past. But if you look at the history between um, Enugu Rangers and them, um, also, Remo Stars, you notice that in past days, we have tried ourselves, uh, we've tried our best to ensure that um, we don't um, lose games against them. Look at the last game we played against them, uh, in, in uh, I think back in 2019, we tried our best possible to ensure that um, we didn't lose that game. But we'll try our best possible. Football is like biscuits, it could break either way, but I feel Remo Stars would get something against Enugu Rangers today. Okay. Okay, but um, what are the camp updates worth sharing? We get information that Sikiru Alimi, of course, he scored the last time in that um, home game against the Rangers, but he will not be available for this one. So can we get an update on Sikiru and um, any other camp updates worth sharing? Sikiru Alimi is not going to be playing today because um, it's just recuperating. He joined... Uh, training he joined the team back in training a few days ago and then um, we don't want to risk him for that particular game because you know it's going to be a big trash and then um, you'd want to throw everything he has into that particular game but we have to be safe we still have a whole lot of a whole lot of games to play so it is safe for us to keep him in that particular one um stanley joseph is um, currently injured uh, one of the guys that was promoted from our our academy beyond limits um he's currently injured um, Ahmed Akinele currently won't be playing also because he has, um, in our last game against Abia Warriors, he got two yellow cards. Um, he was suspended. He got a red card in that game from two yellow cards. So he's going to be missing that particular encounter also. So Dick Ismail has uh, the, highest, uh, the highest assist provider currently this season, already has five yellow cards. And then definitely he's going to be missing this encounter too because accumulation of five yellow cards would not allow you to play the next game. So we are going to be missing him also. Um, Fabian is there. 
Victor Collins is um, available for the uh, for the uh, for for this particular encounter. Um, our strikers too are not really um, going to be available for this one. Like I said earlier, Sikiralini, um, Bella is not really fit, but we traveled with them. Um, the good news for us also is that Adam Solamilekon has returned into uh, has returned um, to the to the training pitch, and also he traveled with that. He traveled with the team because. He had um, a red card. He missed three games already. So um, it's going to be a difficult encounter, like I said. But but our regulars won't be playing in in today's game because of the couple of um, uh, yellow cards and um, red card in which we had we got in our previous games, and also um, because of injury worries, some of our players, like rightly said, won't be playing in this particular encounter. But we'll try our best because the players we have also are equal to the task. Mm. So we are sure that. We are going to get something at any Rangers today. Okay, but I must remind you that the Flying Antelopes, they have been very good, in good form in the recent matches, at least with um, the coach, um, Fidelis Ilechiku, and they are really potent. They've got a potent attack and a rock-solid defence, and in them that sport near uh, the top of the league table. Remember, they occupy a sixth position right now, and you occupy the second position how do you intend to navigate through this rock-solid defense and a potent attack without Sikiru Alimi? Yeah, like I said, other players are equal to the task. Um, we have um, um, Dela Akoli, the Ghanaian. Uh, he's in that particular encounter. So he's going to be playing definitely. Uh, we have Isaac James, who also traveled with the team. We have Adam Solamilekon, who just returned also, who is also um, a skillful player. He can try to maneuver any defense line in which he see. Mm -hmm. And then we also have the likes of uh, Anik Keme Okun, who had got a couple of goals for us when it was pretty difficult for us to, to, to win our games. We saw him against Lobi. We saw him against Abia Warriors. He came all the way to do wonders for the team from the bench. So these are the things why these are part of the reasons I'm quite optimistic that even if this regular starters lack like of Siki Ralimi um, is not available for this tournament, for this particular encounter, I mean, it is still very certain for us that at least we'll pick something. O.C. Martins is there, you know, mm -hmm. the history of O.C. Martins. He had played for um, a Yimba before. He has played for Rivers United. And uh, he, he comes with a world of experience, as I speak with you presently. So it's good for, for us to have him in our, in our fold. Um, we also have um, uh, Dela Akoli, the okay. Ghanaian. Is really fit for this particular encounter, but let's see how it goes. But I am quite optimistic, like I told you earlier, that we'll pick something against them in the Rangers. Okay, I'll be hoping that that encounter ends maybe in your favor, but we've got Enugu Rangers to look out for. Where's God? Um, Fidelis Ilechiku, the dramatic coach. Thank you so much, Oladimeji Oshode, for joining us on the show today. Thank you very much. I really appreciate you, and I thank you for putting me on the show today.